give God some praise. Come on, let's give God some praise in this place. Amen. We just got finished saying we need him to survive. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's put our hands together and praise the Lord in this sanctuary. Hallelujah. Praise him in the ferment of his power. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Job said the breath of the almighty has given me life. Amen. And we come to praise and magnify and lift up the holy name of Jesus. Amen. He's holy. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy and righteous is his name. Let heaven and earth proclaim he's holy. Hallelujah. Amen. For the wondrous works of Jesus in all the earth. Hallelujah. And he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on one more time. Let's just give God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We offer unto you the sacrifice of thanksgiving. We offer unto you the sacrifice of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're just grateful to the Lord today. I'm just going to share, amen, Friday night, evangelistic night, amen, as we go to, amen, it's nowhere near you, amen, as we go to, amen, um, go out and to venture out, amen, and invite people to come in to worship and worship in the church, amen. I had a boss, I was working on this at a motel, amen, hallelujah, <laughs> amen, and I told the young man, amen, what we could do in the hotel Amen. To enhance what we do. Amen. To serve the people. Amen. And he said to me, he said, I want to go across the street. I want to go up into the office buildings and I want them to come. Amen. Hallelujah. From near and far, we're going to do promotions and we're going to have coupons and all these things. Amen. Hallelujah. To, <coughs> to draw people. Amen. Into the hotel. Amen. And I asked him a question. I said, what, what if it works? Amen. What would happen if it worked? Hallelujah. He looked at me kind of funny. I said, you got to be prepared. If these people are going to come in here, you got to have some things set up. You got your sales people, amen, working behind the line in the kitchen. Hallelujah. Amen. Cooks in the kitchen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The salesman looked at me kind of funny and said, well, I, you know, my mother gave me how to take your mother, your recipe, and both of y'all go out there to that front desk. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the cooks cook. Amen. Sell. Amen. That's what your job is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we go out and venture out and ask people to come into the ministry, what if it works? Amen. What if, it, what if the place is packed out and filled up? Amen. What do we what do we do then? Amen. That's the whole. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the whole book of Acts. Amen. Do you know that? Amen. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John depicts the life of Jesus Christ. Amen. Acts says, amen. We have the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost come and they work through. the. Amen. But when you get to Romans, the doctrine book, we got the Holy Ghost. What do we do now? Amen. Everything you wanted to do and needed to do among your people has been done. Amen. We have the spirit of God in us. Now, what do we do? Amen. Hallelujah. And so we have the truth. We have the word of God. Amen. A lot of um, most people want to witness and share. Amen. The ministry with as many people as possible. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But what if it works? Hallelujah. And they come in here. Amen. People are going to come in here broken. They're not going to come in here perfect. They're going to have problems. Guess what? You are not perfect. Hallelujah. You got problems. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like Oprah. Amen. You got problems. You got problems. You got everybody gets problems. Amen. We all get them and we all have them. Amen. And that's why we build up one another in this most holy faith. Hallelujah. That's why we help one another. Amen. The Bible said if a brother be overtaken in a fall, you that are spiritual restore such a one in the spirit of meekness considering yourself amen amen you supply the need you treat the need as if you were in need amen hallelujah you would do it as you want somebody to do for me amen hallelujah if it was my child i would do this hallelujah amen i had a young man that was driving a, the van hallelujah amen he might be watching but it's all right anyhow hallelujah and he uh, somebody wanted to be dropped off amen at the metro station amen and he took him to the upper level, you know, uh, Huntington, amen. Instead of the lower level right there, we can go in and amen, amen. Took him around there, not even close to it, amen. They had to walk over to the, amen, hallelujah, to the metro, hallelujah. And they told me, they said, um, they dropped me, he dropped us off over here. We wasn't close. And that place up there really is not that safe, especially at night, hallelujah. And so, amen, I said, um, did you, where did you drop them off at? Oh, at the metro, 
Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. That got a lot of connotations to it. Amen. You could run block away and still be at the metro. Hallelujah. Amen. At the metro. Not in the metro, but at the metro. Hallelujah. And so I said, now let, let me ask you this question, sir. Amen. If it was your sisters that needed a ride home, hallelujah, would you have dropped them off at the metro? No, I would have took them home. Hallelujah. Exactly. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. You understand? If we are brothers and sisters in Christ, then you treat them as brothers. Amen. Hallelujah. And treat them as your sisters in Christ. Amen. I treated them like my children. Amen. I treat them like my own kids. Hallelujah. You, you know, other people's children, you say, go to your mama. Go over there. Go, oh, you, your child, you say, come here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ain't going to send your child nowhere. Hallelujah. You're going to say, come here, and you're going to explain some things to them. Amen. Why they, what they should have done. Amen. And that's how I treated them. Hallelujah. And so the, 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 some of their own parents could say, go over there and sit down. And they look at them like they were crazy. That's like, go over there. Amen. And they look at me. Why they listen to you? They don't listen to me because I'm not telling them as an adult and you're a child and you got to obey me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And it's how we treat people is how they respond. Ah, oh, Lord, have mercy. I might can sit down if y'all got that. That's it right there. Hallelujah. How you treat them is how they respond. Amen. Amen. And so there's a scripture over in St. John. And that's St. John, 1 John. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Piling up with message. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 1 John, uh, I believe it's the fourth chapter. <clears throat> Amen. I would love to read this entire uh, first letter. Amen. But over in the third chapter, the first verse, says, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. <laughs> Amen. That the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Amen. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be what? Like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purify himself, even as he is pure. Amen. That's a purification process. You think you have to do all these different things to become clean and become pure in God. Amen. What we really have to do is trust that God is clean and God is pure. Amen. And give him our life. Amen. And it's the love that we show. They'll know that we are Christians, not by the church that we belong to, not by the dogma, not by the organization, but they'll know that we are Christians by our love. Amen. How, how we treat one another. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You get, you get, <laughs> Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You give them, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. You give them a bad attitude, that's what you're going to get back. Amen. A bad attitude. Amen. Hallelujah. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth that shall he, you, he also reap. Amen. Hallelujah. So somebody come into the church, amen, and you rip them up one side and down the other. You judge the shoe size, the haircut. You judge everything about them, and you wonder why, amen, you're not pure before God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you're going to judge. Judge not because you're going to be judged by the same judgment you place on everybody. Don't make me go to Matthew. Hallelujah. Amen. That same judgment is going to be cast upon you. So we love so God can love, so we can show love, so they can see the love. Hallelujah. Not you acting like a Christian and acting like we are perfect. Hallelujah. But they can see the love down on the inside of me. Hallelujah. They can feel that love. They can identify with that love. They can identify with the hate as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we want them to identify with the love. Amen. So behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. We are his children. God is love. We're about to get there in the second and fourth chapter. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be what? Like him, for we shall see him as he is. Amen. Every man that have this hope in him purify himself, even as he is pure. Ask the Savior to help you, comfort, strengthen, he'll keep you. Jesus is willing to aid you. Jesus will carry you through. I wish you look at somebody and tell them, Jesus will carry you through. 
Hallelujah. Jesus will carry you through. All you have to do is ask. Whosoever committed sin transgresses again. Also, the law for the, amen, sin is the transgression of the law. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop right there. Hallelujah. Because I can read everything through there. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because it's all good for the edification, amen, of the saints of God to build you up in God. <coughs> so let's go to, amen, First John, first epistle of John, the letter. Amen. Fourth chapter. John wrote letters out to churches. Amen. He took over. Amen. Basically, Paul's work. Amen. John was the only one that died. Amen. Hallelujah. Of natural causes. Amen. Hallelujah. They tried to boil him in oil. They tried to do some things to him to take him out. That's why he was on the Isle of Patmos. Amen. For the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because they tried to kill him, but he didn't die. Hallelujah. I shall not die, but live and declare when you're doing God's work, when you're doing things according to his will, it doesn't make a difference what man can do to me. I do not fear what man can do to me because I'm here by the power of God, working by the will of God. I'm in the word of God. Hallelujah. And I got me a hiding place in God. So don't make no difference what you call me, how you treat me, what you say about me. Hallelujah. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I shall not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name, on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. And there's something to be said about love, the one that loved Jesus, the one whom Jesus loved. Amen. When the Bible speaks about that, it speaks about John, the one that laid his head on his breast, hot on his chest. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When it said breast in the Bible, it's talking about chest. Amen. When it talked about Elohim, God is Elohim. He is the nourisher. Amen. It's talking about the woman's breast as she gives nourishment to the baby. Amen. Don't make God a woman. Hallelujah. Don't make him feminine. Hallelujah. It's just, it's just a metaphor as to who he is and how he nourishes. That's what Elohim means. Hallelujah. The nourisher. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so here we are in the fourth chapter of the beloved John. Amen. Amen. Keeping the ministry going and, and sending letters out to the churches. Amen. Some that he started and some that Paul, amen, and the other, amen, disciples, amen, the work that they was doing. But they had left the scene. Amen. And John is still here. Hallelujah. Love will carry you through. Love will take you beyond. Amen. <laughs> Everything else. How did the love covers? Ah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. A multitude of sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to speak no tongue. You got to jump no pews and run down no aisles. Just start showing some love one toward another. Hallelujah. Amen. Start showing love and respecting God's people that he placed here on this earth. Amen. And everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. Amen. God bring them in. We talk them out. Hallelujah. We push them out the door. Hallelujah. Because of our ways, our foolish ways, our devilish ways. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it. In real, real love, real people, real church, real pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. Hall I'm going to add a fourth one. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm going to tell you the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing wrong with people coming. Amen. Hallelujah. We never had a problem with people coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But how we treat them. Yeah, we on. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Is how we treat folk is whether they're going to stay. They call it close in the back door. Amen. You got to close the back door of the church because people come in through the front. Hallelujah. As soon as they want to sweep the floor. No, I sweep the floor. We got a vacuum cleaner. We don't need you to sweep the floor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got 12 people that can sweep this floor. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You wasn't thinking about that floor, wouldn't you? You would drop candy and everything else on that floor. Hallelujah. Rub your feet and walk on out the door. Hallelujah. But the minute somebody else pick up a broom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We on it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And why pastor let you do that? He, did the pastor tell you to do that? No, it's dirty. Get us a broom and sweep. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's not complex. Amen. It's not supply-side economics. It's not neurosurgery. Hallelujah. Dirt on the floor. Get it up. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can go through different positions. Amen. But the minute somebody have it, everybody want to do it. They know somebody. I got a cousin over here that know how. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But yet, before that happened, nobody touched it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor, I thought you was preaching. I am. Yeah, hallelujah. Just, just listen. Amen. Hear the word of God. Hallelujah. 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 Don't let God bless people and send them in the house of God. Amen. Send them in. Amen. And be blessed in God's house. Amen. And, you, and envy and jealousy and hatred comes up within us. Amen. Hallelujah. I ain't saying that wasn't me either. I ain't saying I was perfect. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes you would say things and you would do things not for evil. Amen. Because you thought it was right to do. Amen. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah, but it wasn't the right decision. Sometimes you make decisions. Amen. It wasn't the right decision. Amen. At the time. Hallelujah. I give y'all one. Amen. A young lady said, we're going to have, can we have Bible class at my house? And I said, well, we can rotate it. Amen. And do it in different people's houses every week. Hallelujah. Went to, went to their house. Amen. The Lord bless. Hallelujah. At that house. Amen. Hallelujah. The kids were sitting on the porch waiting for the other kids to come out. Amen. To play. Amen. They said, can we come to Bible class? I said, no. Amen. But you can ask your parents if you can come to Bible class. Amen. And they went down the street and asked their parents if they can come to Bible. They started running up the street. They said, yeah. Yes, they said yes. Amen. They was excited. Amen. That began our children's church. Our children's ministry started right there. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But we had a building. I had a bishop tell me, amen, fields, they need to be in the building. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen to folk instead of listening to what God is doing. When God is working, don't you move. Stay where God is working at. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we tried to shift everybody here. Amen. They'll let the kids come up the street, but they ain't letting them come to Springfield. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They ain't letting them get on somebody's van they don't know. Hallelujah. And come out to Springfield. All the good intentions in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, but that wasn't the right decision to make. Amen. We need to stay where God was moving. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm not saying that I'm clear. Amen. I'm free and clean from this. Hallelujah. I'm just saying that we got to start letting God use us. Amen. In, in a mighty way, and he will move in a mighty way as he's already moved. Amen. He don't do nothing else for agape. He's already done enough. Amen. He don't have nothing to prove to me or anybody else. Amen. His place and his will in our lives. So, so, so John says here in the, in the, in the fourth chapter, first verse, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hallelujah. Don't believe everything that's said to you. Don't believe the intent of everything. Sometimes people come in a nice way, talk with flowery. Amen. Words. Amen. And talk with some words that pump you up, stroke your ego. Amen. Amen. Oh, child, you just so nice. <laughs> they say this and they say, you. amen. How do you say this? And you say that and they just want you to do what they want you to do. Hallelujah. They, they just do what you they, they want you to do. Amen. And once you do it, they're gone. Hallelujah. How they wasn't concerned about what you needed and what you wanted. Amen. Hallelujah. But they just left. Amen. Hallelujah. So don't believe every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they of God. Pastor, how do I try the spirits with the spirit of God? Hallelujah. You have to have the spirit of God down on the inside of you. Then you'll know, amen, what the what the spirit is saying. It will lead you to the truth. It will never lead you to a lie. Amen. Hereby know ye that the spirit, amen, hallelujah, of God. Here you know the spirit of God. Amen. How every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Hallelujah. Every, every spirit that's praising God and magnifying his name and lifting up his name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They are of God. Hallelujah. How do I know, amen, if they are of God? How do I know that they are the truth of God? Hallelujah. Amen. It says, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. In the fourth chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Every, every spirit that confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. Hallelujah. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. It did not say the Antichrist. It said this is the spirit of Antichrist. Christ, those that are working with God. My pastor they used to say, amen, Bishop Robert said, everybody in the church is working. Amen. Hallelujah. They, those that's not working for me is working against me. Hallelujah. Amen. So, but everybody, hallelujah, is working in God's house. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we got to know whether God is talking and God is working. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whether God is or whether it's the, it's the devil or it's antichrist, you're working against the will of God. Hallelujah. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, whereof uh, ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. Now, the Antichrist himself is not in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. The Antichrist will not be revealed, amen, until the church is raptured. 
Hallelujah. So Christian believers should not be trying to figure out who the Antichrist is. Amen. They said it's Trump. Amen. They said it was Obama. Hallelujah. He's the beast. He's Satan. Hallelujah. Amen. It was Reagan. Hallelujah. Before that, it was Kennedy before that. Hallelujah. If you check your history. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It was Hitler. Hallelujah. They gave it to everybody except the right one. Hallelujah. The, the Antichrist sitting there going, y'all keep guessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yet you're so worried about what the Antichrist is going to do. Amen. You're not getting your soul right. You're not getting the kids' soul right. You're not getting your family saved. You're not going to church. How are you worrying about the Antichrist? Amen. Fret not thyself because of evildoers and be not envious against the workers of iniquity. Hallelujah. Amen. Take the charge of God and, and win souls for Christ and build up heaven. Hallelujah. Build up the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I don't want to be Antichrist, I want to be pro Christ. Hallelujah. For, for him I live. For him I die. In him we live, move, and we have our being. We exist by his power. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we're working against the kingdom, when we're working against the ministry, when we're working against God himself and Jesus himself, if you're doing the opposite of what Jesus wants you to do, oh, God, that's that real pastor right there, right there. There he go. There he go. It's Friday night evangelistic service. There he go. Hallelujah. If you're doing the opposite of what Jesus wants you to do, that's anti-Jesus. That's anti-Christ. How do you know your parents? You, you know, they told you being contrary. Amen. Did not tell you. And you did the exact opposite. Hallelujah. Amen. Told you to go there and get the amen hammer and you grabbed a pencil. Amen. How you grabbed the first thing you saw. Hallelujah. Amen. You know that's not a hammer. Hallelujah. Amen. But you're trying your best to bring them something to appease them. Them. Hallelujah, so you don't get no whipping. Hallelujah, but y'all know about country parents, amen. So you get a whipping with the pencil. They'll whip you with it. It don't, it don't take much, amen. Hallelujah, amen. I did. I tell you, amen, put your knuckles over here. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to get you. Hallelujah, amen. And so when we do contrary to what God is saying to us, we anti-God. And we do this, we're anti-spirit when we, when we go the opposite. We quench the spirit. We grieve the spirit when we do the opposite of what it says. Amen? Amen. That you, It's already in the world. So stop looking for the Antichrist and be pro-Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. You can be pro-Christ. Amen? And stop being Antichrist. We had a play, amen, called I Bury the Devil. The gospel choir put on a play, amen, at the church called I Bury the Devil. And we did the funeral of Satan. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Had the demons and the angels and all them there. Amen. And, and at the end, we had everybody come and view the devil. Amen. In the coffin. They had a coffin down the front. And as everybody was going, they were laughing. Some got angry. Amen. Because when you looked in that coffin, it was a mirror. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, Jesus. <laughs> that was not nice, Pastor. What was the love at in that? How did, <laughs> how did, <laughs> and it, there's a video somewhere. Kathy got it somewhere. Kathy Stewart got a video somewhere. I know it because she, she recorded it. Amen. And y'all should see them looking down in that coffin and laughing. And some of them didn't, didn't think it was funny. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the message was, amen. When you're working for him, you him. Amen. You his ambassador. Hallelujah. And the devil would love a church called Agape to be full of hate. I said, the devil will love a church called Agape to be full of hate. That's what he wants the opposite, amen, of what God has called this ministry to be. This is what we are all about here at Agape. This is what I'm about, amen. I, I'm about love. I'm about reconciliation. I'm about redemption, amen. I'm about people coming together, families being together, husbands and wives and children. I'm about things working out in the house and in the home. Amen. I'm not I'm not pro amen division. I'm pro union and unity and everything working the way God designed it. Amen. Hallelujah. That's my job. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use some people that people might say can't shouldn't be used. Amen. Some people might preach that you might think shouldn't be preaching. Hallelujah. There might be somebody up on in this piece of wood that came out of a tree. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's sacred. God is sacred. We hold him sacred. Amen. Amen. I don't mean I don't hate sin. Don't mean that I approve and tolerate of that. Amen. But just like you come in here as a, as a train wreck, 
Amen. Hallelujah. And you got your healing and deliverance. Other people might need it as well. And they might be some apostles, some prophets, some pastors. Hallelujah. Some teachers. Hallelujah. We all are human and we all need healing. And so instead of, amen, the same gospel choir, we used to sing this song. If I dare to be walking with my head up high, if my hands do not greet you when I pass you by, if by chance I ignore you or don't hear your cry, don't be angry. Pray for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray for me. Hallelujah. Don't, I, don't it seem like I need prayer? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so sometimes people will talk about you, lie on you, do all kinds of things against you. The Bible said offenses must come. They that live godly in Christ Jesus suffer persecution. But we shouldn't be doing it with each other. We shouldn't be attacking one another. Hallelujah. If there's a problem, we should be able to sit down. Amen. And said, I didn't like you wearing that. I, I don't like this. This hurt me. This bothered me. Amen. And say, okay, I'm sorry. I'll try not to do it again. Or, amen. <laughs> amen. This is me. Amen. Let's deal with it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But come to an agreement. Come let us reason together. Amen. We had a service one time, big service, preachers down there preaching about forgiveness. Amen. And saying, I'm sorry and apologizing. And so they got everybody in the circle at the altar call. Amen. And I want everybody in this circle, amen, each person to say, if I've done anything hallelujah, to offend you, amen, I'm sorry. Amen. So they pass the mic around to everybody. If I've done anything to offend you, I'm sorry. Amen. They went on around. Y'all know, Pastor, they normal. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So when they came to me, I said, if I've done anything to offend you, I will continue to offend you until you tell me what I did to offend you. How to, and I passed the mic. <laughs> Hallelujah, because if I offended you, how do I know I offended you unless you say something? Hallelujah. You understand? Hallelujah. You got to have a conversation. He said, come let us reason. That's two people talking. How did it come let us reason to get to together? Amen. Come let us reason together. Amen. And we should work it all out, amen, as believers. Hallelujah. So we, they will continue. I don't like the way they chew their gum. I don't know. I don't like that red dress. Why she got to wear that? That's the only dress she got. Hallelujah. Why she got to wear that red dress every first Sunday? It's first Sunday, red day. I don't understand it. Hallelujah. And, you, and that child, that poor child, that's all she got. And she might like, that might be her favorite color. Hallelujah. I'm going to wear my red dress this Sunday. Hallelujah. I love this dress. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She happy and proud to wear a dress, and then you're going to come in there and cut it all up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The shame on us. I said us. Shame on us. You never know somebody else's story. A young lady was, was um, mother had turned the house over to her and given her the house, and she was, amen, um, working and doing stuff and kids and family and they were in the house and I just happened to call the Lord put it on my mind so I called and check on see how you how she was doing and she was like pastor I'm really really going through I'm really going through I'm dealing with this and that and this and that and this and that and it was just like heavy on her amen hallelujah and that's why the Lord had led me to call her Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and she said something at the end. She said, people don't really know other people's story. You never know what somebody else is going through. Hallelujah. You never know what somebody else is going through. Hallelujah. You never know what somebody else is going through. That's why they call it compassion, co, C-O, two passions, their passion, what they're going through, and you have passion for their passion. Amen. Hallelujah. Condescend to men of Lord's state. Hallelujah. And so we come down and we show love one toward another. Amen. Hallelujah. And he told you they was in the world. Fifth verse says, they are of the world, therefore speak they of, hallelujah, the world. And the world heareth them because they are of the world. Amen. The sixth verse, we are what? Of God. And he knoweth, and he, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. We got to know our position. We got to know our place. We got to know where we're standing. I can't deliver you. I can't become a lifeguard if I don't know how to swim. I can't. Well, Pastor, you can put on a uniform and get up there and put a, get a whistle. 
Amen. How did man out there blowing the whistle tonight? I said, that whistle ain't going to make me stop. Amen. Hallelujah. They gave it to you. Amen. Hallelujah. But I was already past them. Amen. It was too late. Amen. So you can get out there and put your, your, your um, Baywatch uh, uniform on and your whistle and your glasses and shades. Put the little zinc oxide on your nose. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And, and when somebody say I'm drowning or you see I'm going down, go out there and do a belly flop. And then somebody got to come and get you. Hallelujah. Bump your head on the side of the thing. Amen. But you can't even get up there. Amen. Because you got to take tests with a uh, uh, lifeguard test and everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you when you in a position of love, when you're in a position of 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 of, of hope, when you're in a position of Christ, amen. You got to come to the rescue of the believers. Amen. You got to come to the rescue of people and be ready to give an answer according to the hope that is in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sixth verse. For so we are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Know where we are. Because it can't be fake love. It got to be real love. You got to show the real, true love of God. Can I get a witness? Amen. Our key verse. Amen. Hallelujah. Our key verse is down here, seven and eight. It said, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Isn't that something? No Holy Ghost, no, no, no tarrying. Hallelujah. Everyone that loveth is born of God. Hallelujah. And knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is oh God. Can we read this eighth verse together just one more time? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's go back to seven, if y'all don't mind. Let's do seven and eight together. Y'all don't mind? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But love, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is is love that's the theme of the new testament that's the theme of the old testament the love of god he came down in the cool of the day because he wanted to be with his creatures and not because he knew there was in sin he that's because they have failed him and eaten from the tree of good and evil hallelujah not because of that hallelujah but because he loved us so much amen that while we were yet sinners amen he sent his son god so loved this world that he gave his only begotten begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting love for, for everlasting life of God did not send his son into the world to be condemned but that the world through him might be saved he loved us so much amen that he sent Jesus Christ as that propitiation as that satisfier of sin to die for the sins of the world he loved me he loved you my brothers and my sisters he loved you so much amen he's concerned and I'm mindful of the tears. I hear the cry of my people by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And I'm sending them to deliver, to come to their rescue, to deliver them from the storm, to deliver them from pain, to deliver them from hate, to deliver them from bad attitudes. Hallelujah for bad understanding. That's why we ought to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct our path. Hallelujah. Love covers a multitude of sin. Love lifts us up. Love it is not puffed up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Love searches all things, believes all things, hopeth all things. Hallelujah. Love of God is shed abroad in our hearts, teaching us to deny and unfilthy lust that we should live godly, justly and godly in this present world. The love of God how it transcends time. It transcends my situation. How the love of God comes into our heart. How it fills us with the power of the the Holy Ghost. He loves us so much that he not only gave his son, he gave us his spirit. Hallelujah. He gave his spirit down on the inside of us. Hallelujah. We might not can't talk like God. We might not can believe like God. But my friend, you can love like God. You can love just like God. Look beyond the faults and see the need. Hallelujah. Love just like God. I'm not ready to condemn. Hallelujah. But to build up one another in this most holy faith. Love just
just like God, considering myself. Hallelujah. Want to see them come out of darkness. Want to see them come out of sin. Have the love of God. I don't want no one. He's not willing that any should perish. But all come to repentance. Love just like God. Hallelujah. And see people delivered and set free. The Bible says, hallelujah, when they were hungry, Jesus looked at the multitude, hallelujah, and had compassion on them. They were following him. They preached. He preached the word of God. Hallelujah. So it had nothing to do with their spiritual need. It had everything to do with their, with their fleshly need. They were hungry. Hallelujah. And he, he had compassion to see that they got something to eat. Hallelujah. And he fed 5,000. Hallelujah. And got angry at the boys because he said, did I not? Later on, he was hungry again. It was time to eat. How many know you got to eat again? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so he said, did I not tell you to gather the fragments? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, be good stewards of what he blessed us with. God has blessed us and he has given unto us the ministry of love, the ministry of God. If God had a church, it would be called love. Hallelujah. It would be called agape, unconditional divine love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And that's what he wants us to show. You might not sing like angels. You might not preach like Paul, but you can show love. Hallelujah. You can show people love and kindness. Amen. And basic manners. Where's the manners at now? Hallelujah. You can't cross the street. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They won't let you go in front of them. Hallelujah. Amen. And they won't let you cut them. You got to cut them off and then they want to cut you off. Hallelujah. <laughs> Stay in the car. <laughs> Stay in the car. Amen. Hallelujah. Stay in the vehicle, sir. Hallelujah. Stay in the car. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of what happens when we out there on the road, you, you're in a 2,000 pound vehicle. So now you, you brave and you bad. You step out the car looking like a vanilla wafer. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. A hundred pounds soaking wet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you were bad behind that. Amen. That, <laughs> that, one of them, the big cars. Amen. The SUV. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Had you S-T-U-P-I-D. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They were the SUV. You thought you were super. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, amen, get out of there. You need a step to get out of there. Hallelujah. You need an elevator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You big and bad. Amen. Hallelujah. Boasting in the flesh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You ever seen anybody act simple and then they get in an accident and they just as humble when they get out? Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're not really. I'm sorry you got an accident. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But you were bad and brave behind there. The ice was, people was wrecking, and the, the, the trooper, they asked the trooper on the news, amen. He said, you know, what happened? They said, well, people are driving too fast. They're driving too crazy on ice, and they think they can, amen, hallelujah, drive any old kind of way on that ice, amen, hallelujah, amen. They said, you got to slow down, amen. Everybody got to slow down, amen, hallelujah, amen, when you're driving out here. Hallelujah. So we got to obey the laws of the land. How we want to teach people to obey? I feel like a hypocrite saying, it. amen, the law of the land is when you don't obey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody might be calling the police right now, but that green, that green thing came through here. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know if it was a hornet green. I don't know who it was a lantern. I don't know if it was a green something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was a flash. Amen. Hallelujah. I thought a flash was red. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, saints of God, we need to show love. And when we show love, we show on them God. God is love. So we show them love, we show them God. You think you got to go through all the scripture to convince somebody of the reality of God. But your testimony, they're overcome by your testimony. Hallelujah. And they'll say, there's something about you. Amen. They did this, and they, sh they didn't have to do it. Random acts of kindness. Amen. And showing love one toward another. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read this one more time. Seven and eight. It said, beloved, let us love one another, for the love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Put your hands together and let's give God praise in the name of Jesus. Come on, put your hands 
Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invites you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.